Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Hobby Japan review by the uh, infamous, controversial TMD, aka Tokyo Model Detective. What's up, guys? Been a long time. Um, I thought I'd get back into uh, the review of these magazines. Um, like I said, new house, new TMD. We're gonna be uh, getting shit going. And I know I've got many requests about um, these reviews uh, of this particular magazine because it obviously connects to a lot of people worldwide in terms of the content that they have in Hobby Japan magazine. Um, big up to those guys. And we have edition 9, uh, the September edition, which is actually a little bit more priced up than the normal previous editions of the year. Um, this is actually under the, uh, the summer special issue. Um, it was marked up over a thousand yen. Um, and on the front cover it has an excellent um, tutorial on scratch building, spraying and tips and tricks um, on this Gundam. I think it's an MX something. Um, I'm not particularly uh, knowledgeable about uh, Gundam um, anymore but uh, this is what you'll be faced with guys. A uh, big shout out going to Lance as well. Um, he suggested getting one of these um, magazine trays. Well they're actually for computers but it works really well for doing these reviews and uh, let's dive into it guys. Um, inside the front cover you'll be faced with uh, an array of um, toys from Bear Bricks, Mafex um, and other toys as well. I don't know what they are. Um, but these are like adverts that they have inside the, in, inside the page and they always have these. Actually this is pretty cool actually. Um, that is a Subaru special of the uh, Bear Brick. That, that's pretty sick man. I don't mind getting that myself. Um, actually I saw a cool uh, Subaru today actually. And then um, going into this um, inside sleeve. This is a pro product that I'm, I'd like to uh, plug actually. Um, this product is a like an, an epoxy um, water effect solution, and a big shout out to Corinne as well from Australia. Congratulations, man! He's the new Australian Gundam uh, World Cup champion. Big up to you! And I did say to you in, in PMs today that I was going to talk about this water, water effect, which you can probably buy when you come, Corinne. So big shout out to you, and. Basically, got the uh, index there, contents, and the got some stuff by Volks here. Oh, uh, sorry, not Volks. That's by Volks, I believe. And these paints must be a new line, which is pretty cool. It's the uh, rusting effect, pigment effects by Gaia Notes. The, 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 there's actually been a big surge, actually, of, of weathering products come out um, in the last six months. Um, and, and last year, particularly like the uh, the Mr. Hobby weathering colours, and you've got some new mix stuff that came out, streaking effects, mud effects, splashes, and some of the other companies are now jumping in on that as well. This page here, we're still going on with the uh, content. Let's move that down a bit, guys, so you can get the full view. Um, I, I don't know if you can see this clearly, but um, right now in Japan, it's really hot. Uh, so I've got the fan blowing in the background, so I hope this um, doesn't make a noise for you guys. Let me put it there. Is that okay? Yeah. And then I'll quickly go through this, guys. If some of you do want to purchase this magazine, please let me know. I can get them. Um, there you go. It, you're faced with this Gundam build, uh, which is really cool. And actually with the equipment that they've used here very basic you've got your mr color paints your mixing pot your sanders your airbrush your nippers your files scalpel brush and tweezers and, and cleaners um, this build can be for a novice um, a novice airbrusher um, this goes into uh, what equipment is needed in terms of building Gundam, Gundam kits or, or any model kit actually and some of these I do have in my arsenal. I'm um, going from uh, this page here, move that over, 
nippers obviously they come in a wide range variety price point um, cutters scalpels files sanders sanding paper um, hacksaw uh, screwdrivers which are pretty handy I use screwdrivers a lot scribers templates scribing plates so you got your BMC chisels there um, cutting mat obviously um, tweezers set squares tape glues brushes and all the rest of it man um, but this is like a standard thing that you would probably have in a you know in your in your modeling bench um, these are the tools that you need for this and then going on to that we got like extra parts here we have uh, putties, fillers, compounds on this area, gloves, paints. It's a general overview, basically, guys. And I'm sure many of you guys know what these products are. And this is this is a new product actually that I haven't seen. Or not unless they've um, redesigned the uh, the cover for that. It's Mr. Service of White 1500. Which is a very thin one um, anyway diving in basically guys it's got a Q&A session on how to do um, this build and it goes into a modding scratch building um, scribing and all the rest of it uh, there's actually a product here that I didn't even know about actually. This is what you're faced with, guys. Back a bit. Um, it's quite in depth, actually. There's a lot of pointers. Kirin, you might be interested by this. Um, and obviously, it's in a magazine. You don't have to go out and fork out lots of money and buy one of these scratch building books. Um, it's pretty informative. Yes, it is in Japanese, but I mean, it seems fairly uh, straightforward, nothing too strenuous. Um, so you've got filing, sanding, cutting, back, gluing, masking, do -do 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 -do. Uh, scribing again, using those Kotobukiya SM, uh, MSG parts, yeah, a lot of stuff in here guys. Another page of it all, doing the hands. Talking about scribing techniques. Use one of these, uh, what they're called, precise. I don't know what they're called again. Sorry guys, you guys will know. But uh, this is the build. It's quite interesting here as well because they actually use parts of the runner to build some of this, to, to, to build on. And this guy here is, is planning out, you can't probably see him over here. He's uh, planned out so much quite light there, sorry guys. But if you, you can't see it real, but this guy's done some sketches on there. On uh, how he wants the panel lining to look. And I must say, like, I know Kirin, on his PG Banshee, did some real cool stuff on it. Um, it does make the kit look more dynamic. Um, mixing paints, um, how to get the right uh, thickness of paint. Um, basically, when you're doing uh, with painting with lacquers, it should be like a multi consistency, and uh, there's a way of actually, you know, airbrushing correctly. Um, tones, pre shading, masking. Uh, panel washing um, for, for many of you guys out there who you know that you want these products well, I'm going I'm to use this just choose this for example um, all Tamiya panel wash is is this enamel mixed with X20 if you can't get panel wash uh, Tamiya which I'm not a real big fan of because I use uh, I use this stuff to be honest um, you can just get those enamels and, and thin them down with some X20, which is a, a Tamiya thinning agent. 
Um, they, do, they come in different sizes as well, bottles, but you, you can do that. It shows you how to erase excess ink and stuff like that. Um, how to apply decals. This is basically like a 101 for Gundam Builders. Applying stickers as well, believe it or not. Pretty good. Like I said, it, it's for your novice builder. You know, this talks. This is the, the, the RG Shinanju, I think, and it talks, tells you about metallics, about air pressure. And there you go, as you can see now, the, the kit is coming alive. Um, and there it is, guys. Looks pretty uh, spanky. Very nice. Chunky. Awesome. Well built. It's the MS006Z gun down. Okay. I don't know if these stars were there, but. Uh, that's a kind of a call fighter that they put on there as well. Very spanky. Uh, this is a new kit that came out as well from Bandai, which is the uh, it's called the Neo Zeon Prototype Psychomu Type Mobile Suit AMX 103. I've heard of the AMX. Hammer Hammer Hammer. Looks pretty good actually how they've done this kit actually. I like the lines and stuff. I'm glad that Bandai have gone back to this kind of like square shaped triangular vibe instead of like the uh, the Bar Bartles kit. Again it shows you different variants and poses and on, and on how they've uh, done the weaponry as well. Lots of views guys back and front. This is uh, an MS08TXS. Now these, I got said these kits are actually um, up uh, kits that have been um, modded, I believe, or oh, I might be wrong. But uh, this is a, that's a very nice kit as well. Again, lots of poses. If you're into Gundam, man, this book is. Oh, sorry, this magazine is a must. The Alex there. These magazines for the price they're very good, you know they have good, lots of good references. This is the GNX. Oh the GNX. I love that one. There you go guys. Very cool. And like also as well this magazine can give you some ideas on how to pose your Gundams. Um, you know. This is the Gundam uh, Astaro. Rina Simento. Pretty cool. I'm so glad. I, I actually dig this kind of design. It's like very mecha. These are kits that I, I, I could possibly buy. Uh, moving on, you've got this one here the ASW. This is the Gundam Dantalion. Poses. Again, some more tips on uh, modding this particular kit. It's Gundam Forest Galaxy. Oh, this is pretty dope, man. I like that. They've got a bigger picture in there. That's nice. Beautiful lines. I like the uh, backpack, even though it does look uh, rather big. Um, I'm not sure if those kits are getting like special custom ones. This is the Julia kit. I'm not sure if it's Gundam. Like I said, I'm not a huge guru. I wish Tim was here um, helping me with this review because he would know. Um, Amina's uh, Hikija. What I'll try and do is I'll try and like uh, pull the page over and pause it. So you guys can have a, a bit of a look on uh, on YouTube. These are these potato, uh, petite, 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 potato. Uh, these are petite guys. Very odd. Not sure what Bandai, what direction Bandai going on with these. Um, I'm not particularly interested in these, to be fair. But um, I suppose they're quite popular with 
a lot of builders worldwide. The infamous Femina. Oh wow, it's her again. She's uh, still ugly as ever. <laughs> and this HEBF kit, yeah, I have seen that. It's pretty interesting. But I just don't know. The, it doesn't uh, MS kind of stuff, right? This doesn't do anything for me. I know there's a few haters out there, but. Amina kits. Um, this is the uh, RX 77AQ gun cannon Aqua. Wow. I'm quite sure if that can uh, go underwater. Probably not. But anyway, moving on. You got. I don't know if these are DVDs or mangas or something like that. Graphic. Yeah, these are like graphic novels. Give some information about that on there. Two percent off uh, subscription. I might actually have to do that. Get, get this magazine for one year. Um, build fighters. I know you guys uh, are well up on this. More build fighters. SD. Awesome. New kit review. MG something Vakar. Okay. Oh, this is a Vakar kit. Wow, that's the grid. Oh, the MS. So you want to, oh, this is this is a, um, a Verkar kit. Oh wow, this is uh, pretty interesting actually. I do like the kit actually. Some nice lines. Reminds me of the Silver Bullet Gundam. Those feet. How it's uh, the lines and stuff. Funky. Infamous Unicorn RG. I know these. Uh, well, that's the Mega Size version. Oh, obviously, yeah. You guys know about. Um, the base Tokyo store that's opened uh, coinciding with the new um, statue of the uh, the unicorn. Um, be a special kit there. More Gundam. More Gundam. This is the metal build one. And actually, with these magazines, every magazine you get a poster like that inside. Let me show you. you get this funky poster. You can cut down there and then. Mount this in a picture frame as well. Like, but that's what I like about these magazines. <coughs> General version there. Uh, Gundam fix uh, figuration. So MS got a project in. I don't mind these. I like these. Should, should have got some of these actually. In my warehouse. Um, this might be a, a competition. Kamen Rider, very funky, got a boat there, submarine. Oh, General uh, Grievous, this is the uh, Bandai section. Wow. Okay, you, you've got a bit of an exclusive for you guys. Um, look how they've done the diorama with that, that is so fucking cool man. I like how they've uh, done that cape as well, that is sick. But a lot of people uh, like this kit actually. Gundam, some Mac stuff there, gives you some tips on how to use this um, diorama product. It's a Dungram. Awesome, awesome stuff, guys. Some Godzilla stuff there. More Gundam. More Gundam. Showing you how to do these dioramas. There are tips and tricks here, by the way, guys. Well, that could be expanding from that. For sure. Tank uh, dioramas. I'll do the base. This is pretty interesting, actually. Very interesting. I'll be taking some tips from that myself. Tanks. Weathering. Now, this is the product. Kevin, if you want to check this out, this is a product that I haven't seen before. Water System Series. I, my Japanese isn't good enough to uh, read the company's company. Uh, sorry, not the company. The actual product name. Company, but it does say cattle. 
and I think it's coming out in August sometime. So this is a new line of diorama products, and I think it's like some epoxy, like river, aqua. Like it, you can get like if you can see there, ones that like a normal standard river, ones a bit like a, a bit of a, like a swamp. So all of these products must represent different kinds of water. You can see that, bro. Oh, okay, water tint. And there's some water undercut. I think what you do is you actually use that as a base cut and then you put that on top. Um, also, oh, sorry, Kato are actually a company that do um, a lot of um, train kits, train diorama products as well. And I, I have some of these, these are very good. Uh, weathering paste, you've got clay, you've got bases, forms, styrofoam. Loads of stuff, guys. Tammy, uh, clear epoxy. I'm gonna be using some of that for my uh, my kappa build, which I still need to finish, guys. I've nearly finished it. Uh, I just need to do the base, and we're done. Now, this is the product. If I can come in down here with the camera, and I don't know why there's so much light bouncing off here, but this tells you how to use this product. And if you can see very well. I don't know if it's better if I turn my light off actually. Not better, my friend over there. Let me do it like that so there's maybe less light bouncing off. Um, but this is the product guys. And if you see here, it does give a direction on how to use this stuff at the bottom. It does come in those different tints. And I've got to say, this is one of the best um, water effect solution that I've seen it really is good it's top, top stuff um, and actually I, I should buy some and, and show you guys how it works but as you can see over here um, that's the base paint there that you use at the bottom so very cool I'll have to do a video on that one there um, Macross Hazigawa, the uh, VF31J Seg, uh, Segfried. Cool, awesome. No Bandai have done their version. Not sure if that's a, a three way kit or not. I've um, got a, a Scope Dog, ATM09 ST Scope Dog. Big shout out to Robin. I know you like your vote on demand now. <laughs> This is an awesome kit. If, if, if no one's built a, a scope dog or a Votum, you should, because they are really nice kits. Um, you can see my belly now, if you don't want to see that. Um, I love these. I love to light one up. This is by Wave. XF, yeah, I know this kit. I, I did have this kit. I sold it on. I think I gave it to you, Sean. You're watching. Uh, what's that one? It's another Bandai kit called the Caprico Type Walker. Very interesting. You can see that, guys. Dope. I like the design. It's very unique. Very funky, actually. Bit of fun. Good job, Bandai. Uh, this is called the large size land ship Emperor uh, Biz Class Carrier. I don't, I don't even know what this actually is, or what these things are. This is the Panzer Blade uh, Tetsu Kyojin Galant. It's very nice, actually. I like these uh, mecha that look like kind of like I don't know medieval knights. Oh, I have that book. Um, cool. I'll be Japan. Going through the old stuff. Zoids. EZ054 Liger Zero. Uh, what's this one? Empire version. I'm not well, very well knowledgeable about Zoids. I do respect people that build them though, because uh, they look very cool. This is done in um, gold and uh, uh, like a dark red and silver. 
very cool. I know that these those kits actually have a lot of parts to them. They're quite um, fiddly to build and, and can take quite a considerable um, time to actually build those kits. Awesome. This is like a bird, like a pterodactyl. It's the H M M M R S zero nine two. Oh, now we're getting into the good stuff. Um, Megami device. I'm a big fan of these, and I've got nearly every kit that they've come out with, apart from the new one, which is unfortunately back ordered on certain websites that I love. Um, anyway, I'm. Getting rather excited in my pants right now, just looking at these kits, um, and that's no understatement because they are really, really cool. Um. <laughs> anyway, moving on, guys. I don't want to tell you too much. Um, again, you got some FAG stuff here. Okay, this is Volk's kind of take on this market. Obviously, we've got you know Kurt Bikia now kicking ass. We've got Bandai with their horrible Fumina, and now we've got Vox's uh, Fiore, which is a bit like an FAG kit, to be fair. It is a copy of that. And then he is telling you how to paint them and decal them up and stuff like that. It's not too bad, at least it's better than the Fumina. At least the face of this character looks appealing. And look, we've got like a copy of the FAG with the striped panties. Um, they seem to be using some acrylics there. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, we've got moving on to the machining Krieger section. We've got the SAS prototype, which I have, and I'm very excited on building this. I know Robin. I know you're also hyped up about this kit. Um, it's going to be awesome, man. Um, sorry, guys. I can't Lally again. Um, done in a very um, dark grey and light green. Um, very awesome. Very good job on the paint, by the way. I have this kit. I have four of these. Wow, I didn't know that. Look at that variant there. Sick. One of the best suits out, I think, in my opinion. I just like the design very cool I think that's an upgrade there yep very excited on building that and this is one of the uh, special gachapon um, upgrades and um, this one here oh wow oh see it's the peaky air just some news on Mac snowy dogs SAS prototype. Oh man, this is so cool. Very exciting. Good job, guys. Big shout out to Carl and uh, Fu and all the other guys. Um, awesome. Hi, Metal R. And this is the uh, Pacific Rim kit. I don't know. These are animation robots and styling. <laughs> um. Yamato battleships, star blazers. I know a lot of you guys. There's quite a few people that are into that. Not sure what this is called. It's very weird, very Japanesey. Not my cup of tea, but anyway. God hands. Woo! God hands have come out with some chisels. Awesome. I wonder how extortionately priced uh, they are. 700 yen. Not too bad a lot cheaper than the BMC's. Uh, Saint uh, Gaon, I think it's called. They always have these. Um, Saint Seiya, whatever it's called. Yeah, I'm a big fan. What's this? Very weird, bizarre looking thing. Yeah, not my cup of tea. Let's, let's move on, guys. I'll just flick through it. Kamen Rider, Ultraman. I know Ed from Malaysia, I know you're into that. This is a, a movie section. Godzilla, they always have Godzilla in this magazine. 
How many Godzilla kits do you need to make? Because I know a lot of people don't, don't buy them. Because every time I go to Mandareki, um, <laughs> there's a lot of them there. Um, okay, guys. Now, this is pretty interesting. This is the Star Wars uh, Django Fett version of the Slave. They have done an LED light setup for the display, and this looks ultra funky. Um, just giving you some tips on, on how they did it. And from what I can see, wow, that's pretty interesting. They've actually lit up the uh, the lights on here. Thrusters underneath. We got a quick, very quick. Oh wow, they've got SMDs in there. Um, Jedi Starfighter. It's a new mini kit out by Bandai. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And guess what? We've got the General Grievous, which uh, I like to give a big up to my TMD customers. Uh, I think I saw in a, around about the 24, 24. I don't know, maybe about like. 60 of these kits and uh, from what I've the feedback that I've had um, has been very good from it um, if you want to check out some reviews check out a guy on YouTube called code code 3 collector uh, Brock Rivers big up man Brock Rivers check him out on YouTube very nice guy and he does some really uh, funky videos um, this is Bandai's paint job scheme on there now the infamous, infamous, 172 scale Bandai Millennium Falcon. And there's been a lot of um, talk on the social media about this kit. Um, I'm gonna try and get hold of some. And this is it guys, very, very large, very large and detailed thing. Um, this talks about some of the uh, little de uh, details that you have at the cockpit here, side view top section also comes with like um, pre-weathered damage sorry pre-damaged effects so you don't have to melt a nail or anything to like burn into the plastic already comes uh, with that standard uh, we got some uh, Hasbro toys black series uh, what are these little miniature kits don't know what these are Spider-Man toys, Iron Man, Medicom, so Harvey Dent. Oh, okay. World Toy Collection goes into like toys from all over the world from different companies, not specifically just Japanese toys, but uh, some stuff from Aliens here. Awesome. Um, Dangan Express. I don't know what that is. It's like some kind of like transformer thing. And then we get into Japanese um, hentai figurines. Now, if you um, are a bit offended by boobies and tits and ass, uh, please look away now. But, um, anime section of live Assault Lilies, uh, Love Live here, going into some of these figurines. That's one piece. That's Ami. Is that Ami? Boa Hancock. Naruto Gals. Is that, is that what is it? Dragon Ball Z, yeah. So these are all like toys, figurines. Uh, the uh, Gorai there. Look to the school idol project. Awesome sculpting as always guys, I know there's a few people that like these um, toys and stuff like that. <sighs> so much of this stuff in Japan guys, it's like if anybody does come to Japan and, and is experienced and seen all the figurines and stuff, you'll know what I'm talking about, it's pretty intense guys, S-Style. So much of this being produced. So yeah, let me just flip through guys. It's something that I used to be into but not now because like these figurines cost 
cost uh, quite a bit of money and it's a very expensive uh, hobby to get into figurines. Uh, it's a good idle project, uh, figure rise busts. Not really my cup of tea. These things are not my cup of tea, but I know like some of my team new customers like dig this kind of stuff. I'm just showing you guys what it's what's up. Uh, HI Figure Express. Oh, Sonic on that. There's just loads of it. Loads and loads and loads of it. Oh, I've seen this figure. So I wanted one of those, but they're very expensive. How much is that? 15,000 years? Yeah, you got stuff like that. Very disturbing, guys. Anyway, moving. Now, this is something I'm gonna bring up. This is um, was a big surprise to me because I saw this actually on a, on what is it? Um, a certain website which I can't mention. But anyway, this is my Max Factory and designed by our friend. What's his name? Max Wanatabi. Awesome. This looks really cool. New hero and standard 40k. Now I'm presuming that this might be uh, a very special limited box to Japan. I'm not quite sure how these kits work. Um, but these kits at the bottom are very, very well painted, by the way. These uh, ultramarines. And it does have a quite a large section now in, in this magazine for 40k. Well, there's, there's an actual old marine box in there. Orison. Yeah, I gotta say, guys, actually, Warhammer 40k in Japan right now is actually getting very, very popular. Oops, sorry, guys, I just take that out. Um, it's getting very, very popular now in Japan. More so than guys, guys. I just had a bit of technical difficulty with the lighting and stuff. Um, so this is the, as best as I can um, do it. I might have to edit this um, on iMovie and increase the light balance. But um, moving on quickly, um, this is the girls on Panzer stuff. Um, um, awesome stuff guys this is by uh, what is it what company is it it's modeled by Takehi Takehama Jiro maybe it's fine molds we've done that kit but very cool um, this is from the series got more figurines tanks so, uh, what company is that Timea Yeah, armor and stuff like that. Like I said, this magazine does care for everybody. Um, some more armor stuff there. Stern Moser. Again, tips and tricks using AK and MIG products. Planes. Curtis. So much stuff in here. So much stuff. Junior. Uh, walk, uh, what was it? War uh, plane carrier. Put the photo etch. Bit of historical information there, guys. Um, boats. F1 cars. I do alloys. Mad crazy guys. Cars. Figurines, products, loads of stuff, loads and loads of stuff. Yeah, and this is just new stuff what's coming out in the next month or so. The back, and that's about it, guys. Um, this, this is the magazine. Um, it's quite thick. I don't know if you can see that very well on camera. Not a thin magazine by all means so if anybody is interested in this magazine let me know guys and uh, once again thanks for watching and uh, I'll be uh, making some more videos at the weekend uh, probably get on the bench and do some more building 
I do have the uh, machining Krieger uh, Gans to finish priming up and then uh, we can get back and show you some more ticks and tips and tricks that I know of um, thank you very much for watching guys please remember to hit that notification bell that ding ding um, like subscribe share thanks for watching guys TMD out peace oh by the way if you want this magazine just uh, send me an email or check out my website uh, www.tokyomodeldetective.com peace